How are you looking forward to you know, getting on the road for, for, for this league campaign? Not an easy one though. No, no, it's going to be difficult. You know, last year they proved a very difficult outfit, finishing second in the league, and this year as well they kind of started quite well in the League Cup like ourselves, and they, they got a draw against there. So we know what we're going to face. We faced them many times now. So we, we were up for it, we know what to expect when we get there. And you know, these are the games like last year, we have to go there and try and pick up points if we want to, to go and do something in this league. Including the playoffs, that must have been something like six meetings with our growth uh, last season. You know, they, they were pretty titanic affairs. It's looking like it's going to be that way again. As you say, they started quite well. Yeah, every game we play against them is really close. And I think last year ourselves, we beat them at home the first game of the, the season. I think that was one of the only league games that they lost there. So, you know, they make the, the gay fields quite a fortress for them. You know, they know how to play the conditions, they know how to play the pitch, and you know, but so do we now. We've played them many times, like you said last year, six times in the previous years before that. So, the one thing you know, you get with this league, you play teams more than more than twice, and some teams you can end up playing six times. So, that's just the way it is. So, yeah, we have to go there, you know, build on sort of the second half performance that we, we put down on Saturday, and hopefully get a few more goals, and then you know, get the three points to kickstart our season. What are your hopes and expectations then for this season? I think realistically looking at it, we have to try and do what we did last year, you know, try and be at the top end of the table. We have to try and go that one step further, you know, because there's no denying it last year we ended the season, like the campaign itself, in a high. But in terms of the, the disappointment from the 45 minutes against St Johnston, being that close to promotion, you know, it hurt. And there's a lot of boys in there that are left in the dressing room and it does hurt. So we've got to take that and, and you know, try our best to build on it to get promoted. But the other side of it as well is we can't keep thinking ahead of the way because this league is very, very tough. And I think last year I've said it before, the way Dunfermline went, you know, that's that's a massive warning to any club in this league that you can't just expect to spend a bit of money, bring a few players in and expect to go and do something. You have to go and produce it week in and week out and that's what we have to do. In terms of comparisons with, with last season, I suppose you would take last season again, but with that blip in the middle taken out of it. Yeah, I think so. I think if you spread it out and mixed it all up, you know, we'd, we'd all be saying it's a, it's a great season. But I think the way we started last year, you know, we always put ourselves in a great position. And like you said, that 11 games pretty much ended our, you know, automatic promotion chances. So we have to, as you said, stop those silly little draws and the feats as well. And, you know, I think just being more or less sort of streetwise as well. And when games are, when we're up, you know, sort of see games out, been experienced and enough myself now, you know, that's something we have to do and, you know, I think on Saturday as well, the, the way teams are going to play against us, we know that and we still have to try and find a way to, to stop sort of teams breaking and counter-attacking us and we have to be able to, as I say, score more goals and to try and get the points because it's just a difficult, like, league that we're in and obviously the opposition this year have got a wee bit stronger and I think anyone in the league would see themselves fancying the playoffs. That's great. Congrats, Melstone. Proud moment for you and the family, yeah? Yeah, no, no, it is. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's one of those, again, you, 200 games for the club. It's brilliant. I mean, I'm, I'm, saying I'm delighted with it. I think, obviously, last year, breaking a clean sheet record for myself was the one when I was, as I said, when I got close to that, was the one that I really wanted. So, But, yeah, to do, as I said, 200 games as well, I said, I'm really, really proud of that. And I think it's a good sort of testament to how, you know, well I've been playing since I've came to this club really and over the, especially over the last three years consistently as well so I have to keep doing it, you know, <laughs> hopefully I've got a few more games left in me so, you know, fingers crossed I can get to, to the next one. Well, I guess the next 200 maybe, but look at it, Saturday, um, are you pretty happy we're playing in August and not? Uh, Tuesday, November. No, it doesn't, no, the thing is, it doesn't matter when we play them. We just every, even at home games, the wind comes. You know, it's, I always talk, like joke with their, their boys when we're on the field about that. But listen, you know, no, it's, it's it is what it is. Really, it's for both teams. It's the same. You know, we have to just go out there and, as I said, do what we done the last time we played them. Make ourselves hard to beat. Sort of try and win second balls and you know get up on it. And you know, if we we nick a goal, win one nil, or you know, just uh, ultimately at the end of the day, we want to try and get a win to get three points on the board. And, you know, start kick start the season after the draw on um, last week on Saturday. Sorry. Right, good luck, Saturday. Cheers, thank you.